hello guys welcome back to solving solution your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems um, so far we've been able to discuss some things on traverse computation and on this video we are going to compute for our partial coordinates in the like of what delta nothing and delta Easton. so i can remember on one of our previous videos before we computed for our distance and our bearing from our back computation i made a little note for us and then um, this was the note i made I was saying coordinates can be represented in rectangular format or polar format and for our back completion where we needed distance and bearing we use it was represented in polar format however what we want to do now we need delta nothing and delta easting which are just like a difference in nothing and a difference in east in easting because that's what delta means so for us to get this we are going to use the rec function on the calculator we've been using so the other time when we did our back computation we use this pool because we are looking for what distance and bearing but since we are looking for a delta nothing and a delta easting or since we are looking for nothing and easting but not really nothing and easting delta nothing and delta easting we are going to use the rec function on the on the calculator so i just felt i should remind us that we had something like this on one of our previous videos now we want to compute for the delta nothing and delta easting which is just same thing as the partial coordinates for each of these our points now how do we go about it i told us we are going to use the rec function so the rec function you get it by pressing shift minus and the rec comes out shift minus the rec comes out that means that whatever value you are going to have as your product will be in a rectangular coordinate format it will either be in delta nothing or delta easting or nothing and easting so in this case we are looking for partial coordinates which we are going to get from our distances and our what and our bearings all right let's continue now so for our first line we have a distance of 204.192 so we have 204.192 comma the bearing we have here is what 83 degrees 16 minutes 58.9 seconds so the x there represents your northern and the y there represents what your eastern so what do we do we write them out our delta nothing here is what 23.883 our delta nothing there is 23.883 and our delta easting is what 202.790 we have 202.790 so that's for the first line now coming to the second line we still press shift minus then direct comes out we have distance 119.950 comma the bearing of what of 68 degrees 37 minutes 43.9 seconds so our delta nothing is what 43.711 so we have um 43.711 and our delta easting is 111 point what 702 onto the next one we still use our rec function distance of 208.951 and the bearing of what 168 38 32.9 so we have a negative delta nothing here which will be what minus 204.859 Eight five nine, and our delta easting here is what forty one point one four nine. We move to the next one. We have a distance of we have a distance of um, two forty nine two forty nine point five three seven comma. Our bearing there is um, two seventy. 9 then 5.9 seconds so we have um, a delta nothing of what 
zero point six six zero and um, delta easting of minus two forty nine point five three six then for the last line we have um, a distance of what one seventy three point one six four then comma we have a um, bearing of 278 degrees 52 minutes 56.9 seconds and um, that gives us um, a delta northern of what 26.738 and minus 171.087 so these are our partial coordinates for these distances and bearing we have our latitude and our departure i hope the point was very clear we use the rec function on the calculator we should get if you're using this calculator or of the same series as this you get it by pressing shift minus and the rec comes out so whenever you use this function your product will always be in nothing and easting your product will always be in what in nothing and easting and when we are carrying out our back computation we use this other format shift plus and the function was what was pole and for this pole our products were displayed in what in distances and what and in bearings so the input here was northern and eastern so when you press pull here yeah, you just put a northern you say comma and you put an eastern these are just random values so the result you have the arrow represents your distance while that sign of theta represents your bearing so if you now come again and you use rec your input here will be these values here so let's say our distance here will be one three one point zero four six then let's say comma the bearing there is 41 since we did not change it to degree minute and seconds let's just say 41 degrees and we'll see that we have values that we are close to our input of what our input of 98,87. You see, we have 98.9 and then 85.97. So, this is how you use this function on the calculator. We have the rec function. That rec function, your input there will always be what? Your input there for the rec function will be distance, comma, bearing. But when you are using the pull function, which is this, your input there will be what? Delta nothing, comma, delta easting. So I believe explaining this simple program or maybe these simple functions on the calculator has been able to give us the idea behind how I have been pressing the calculator because I know some persons might still need to get this information before they can be able to um, manipulate the function on the calculator. Hence, I had to just take this time to give this description so this poll your input is northern comma eastern while your product is what distance comma bearing and if you are using rec your input is what distance comma bearing whereas your product is what northern comma eastern so this is just it so far we've been able to get our delta northern delta eastern definitely the partial coordinates and then we've also been able to um what else did we do okay what we did on our previous videos so thanks for coming around and um thanks for watching this video and if you know you've not subscribed just subscribe that's the way you encourage us and then we keep on giving you the best content you need on solutions to your solving problems so invite your friends to also do so thanks for coming around on our next video, we we'll have to get our arithmetic sum for each of these lines, and then we'll try how to get our what our um, uncorrected coordinates for each of the points and compute for the 
correction and the corrected coordinates so i know you don't want to miss it see you in the next video thank you very much